Okay, find the percent composition of C4H6P. So first, find how many moles of each element there are. So there's four moles of carbon, six of hydrogen, and one of phosphorus. Then multiply by the molar atomic mass of each element. So carbon is 12.01 grams per mole. Hydrogen is 1.008 grams per mole. And phosphorus is 30.97 grams per mole. So when you multiply these out, you get 48.04 grams per mole of carbon, uh, 6.048 grams per mole of hydrogen, and 30.97 grams per mole of phosphorus. Okay, so when you add the total molar masses of all the elements, you get a total atomic mass of the compound of 85.058 grams per mole. So then you're going to divide the individual atomic mass of each element by the total. So for carbon, you get an, end, an ending answer of 56.48%. For hydrogen, you get an answer of 7.11%. And for phosphorus, you get an answer of 36.41%. So, this is how you find the empirical formula of a compound that is 48.38% carbon, 8.12% hydrogen, and 53.5% oxygen by mass. The first thing you do is basically assume that these percentages are, are all out of 100 grams. So just convert all these percentages into grams. So after you get them into grams, you want to change all these grams into moles. So for carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen respectively, you would divide them by the, um, by the molar mass. For carbon, it's 12.01 grams per mole. For hydrogen, it's 1.008 grams per mole. And for oxygen, it's 16.0 grams per mole. After converting these all into moles, um, calculate them. And after converting these all into moles, you get moles of 4.0 two eight moles of carbon eight point zero five six moles of hydrogen and thirty or excuse me three point three three six moles of oxygen after you get these moles you want to divide all the moles by the by the one that has the least number of moles in this case it'd be oxygen so as you look over here, you divide all the moles of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen by um, oxygen because it's the least number of moles. Um, oxygen will turn out to be one mole, hydrogen will turn out to be 2.4 moles, and carbon will turn out to be 1.2 moles. After you get these ratios, you want to get you want to turn them into a whole number ratio. Um, so after you by after turning them into a whole number ratio, the only way to do that is multiplying them by five. So one mole of oxygen, multiplying that by five, will equal five moles of oxygen. 1.2 moles of carbon, multiplying it by five, will equal six moles of carbon. And then 2.4 moles of hydrogen, multi multiplying that by five, will get you 12 moles of hydrogen. From this, you can write the empirical formula, which will be C6H12O5. Okay. Assume a student does a lab and finds C6H12O5 to be 43.09% oxygen by mass. Is the compound pure? Assume no error in the lab. From our previous question, we know that the theoretical value of the percent of oxygen by mass is 48.38%. And the student found the oxygen by mass of C6H12O5 to be 43.09%. So we calculate the percent error by doing the theoretical minus the experimental divided by the theoretical value times 100 to get 10.93% error. Because of difference in theoretical and experimental percent, we can see that this compound is not pure. There must be extra substance adding mass to the compound, leading to a lower percent oxygen by mass.